No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. Hey, what's up? I'm Ryan with No Film School. We're here with Dan Fung, the CEO of Condition One VR. They just announced here at NAB 2016 a new virtual reality camera. Um, why don't you start off by telling us just what Condition One is, just so people know what your involvement in virtual reality is. Yeah, Condition One is a VR technology company, uh, and we're announcing a new VR camera called Bison. It has uh, 16 Genlock synchronized cameras that shoots in 360 degrees in stereoscopic 3D and creates a powerful sense of presence. And how would you say this camera is different from maybe some of the other uh, multi-cam rigs out there? Yeah, it's designed to be able to shoot really close to your subjects, and we find that is really very immersive in VR. When you're really close to something like a jaguar or bison, uh, you feel their presence next to you. Uh, so it's all optimized and designed for that near field near the camera, which a lot of other VR cameras can't do. For those who don't know, uh, Dan Fung directed the 2011 Sundance documentary Helen Back Again, which was nominated for an Oscar and won Sundance Grand Jury Prize, Sundance Cinematography Prize. So as a filmmaker and a storyteller coming to virtual reality, you know, what was your initial interest in the medium? So I'd come from Hell and Back Again, shooting it all on a 5D Mark II, uh, and it was a beautiful image. I could really transport people into this world, but it still felt like a postcard. I wanted to bring people and let them witness it firsthand. So that's how I got into VR and trying to create these fully immersive experiences like you're actually there. We think that people are going to, once they try VR, they're going to want more of it. Uh, so we see ourselves eventually as a VR studio, sort of an HBO of VR, where we have our own original content shot with our own proprietary technology that you can download to your smartphone, clip it into one of these Samsung Gear VR or other uh, headsets that are based on smartphones, and you'll be able to have these powerful VR experiences um, just powered by your phone. We did a piece called In the Presence of Animals, uh, which gets you really close to wildlife and endangered species before they're gone. Uh, our latest one goes undercover uh, following an investigator into factory farms and pig slaughterhouses. So really intense, but it's a powerful example of the medium to invoke empathy and ultimately compassion. So as a filmmaker and entrepreneur myself, I'm interested to, uh, in, in where you're taking this Condition One model, uh, where you guys see yourselves going with it in terms of it being an entire end-to-end -end ecosystem, like what's, what's in the future? Yeah, so we're, we're building the cameras, we're building the stitching software, we're building the distribution apps. So as a filmmaker, journalist, we have complete control over what we're doing. We don't have to go through the gatekeepers and intermediaries that have often existed. Uh, so it's really quite freeing to be able to, to create something and go directly to the consumer in the form of an app. So I think this will be a new medium, a new distribution model, um, and a powerful way to tell stories that convey emotion in a really strong sense and, and allow people to feel like they're actually there. And where can people go to find out more about Condition One? Uh, we've got condition1.com, or you can download the Condition One app in uh, the Google Play Store for Android um, and on our YouTube channel and Facebook. Page. Is that condition, since this is on camera, is that Condition One O N E or one the number? Uh, condition One O N E. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks so much.